Your choices in the checkout line could soon shrink. Plastic bags could become a thing of the past. Yeah, it could happen if County Executive Mark Polencars gets his way. He wants to ban stores from using them. But Polencars doesn't have this proposal in the bag just yet. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui is here. Ali, you've been watching the County Executive State of the County address for us today. Yeah, that address wrapping up moments ago. This was one of the first major announcements that he made during his State of the County. We found some who support it. This is a very wasteful uh, product that we're using in this country. And Sam McGavern knows his organization, Partnership for the Public Good, researched the use of plastic shopping bags years ago. Plastic bags, they're just very wasteful, both economically and environmentally. That's why McGavern says he supports Erie County Executive Mark Polencars' proposal to ban using plastic bags across the county. Polencars says it'll help protect the environment. McGavern agrees. There's a lot of it ends up in our rivers, our lakes, our oceans, and has really harmful effects on them. The proposal isn't a done deal. The county would need to pay at least $50,000 to study the impact a ban would have on consumers, retailers, and the environment. Erie County Comptroller Stefan Mahailu is among those critical of the county executive's proposal. He questions whether the county should be spending money on a plastic bag study. I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Uh, while I think that would make New York City liberals extremely proud, uh, I think it's incredibly tone deaf to folks who live in Chituaga and Lackawanna who are struggling every single day. The ban isn't a new concept. San Francisco and Washington, D.C. have already done so. Some communities downstate have also banned the use of plastic bags in stores. However, Erie County would be the first area upstate. And I spoke to at least one local grocery store chain who doesn't support the ban. Find out who and why tonight at 6. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.